This will be a class Honor Duel 101 basics. How to win the majority of the time. You can't win every time because of the RNG of the store and of the artifacts that you get randomly. But this is the most fun, competitive, free-to-play mode in the game. It's kind of like blackjack. You gotta play the odds. If you play the odds, you win the majority of the time. And you're gonna win the majority of the time. If you end up liking this video, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell, ding a ding thing so you know when I post a video. Let's go, baby. All right, still currently I am rank one in Honor Duel on server 69. Giggity. Even if you don't like Honor Duel, make sure to get your 15 wins every week. 15 wins net you 1,000 crystals, 80,000 gold, and two summons. And just so you know, for gold, you can buy more entries into Honor Duel. And you do get one entry every day. This will be a base guide on how to win. Starting a match, you select your initial combo. I will make a tier list for what artifacts and heroes are best in Honor Duel. All three of these artifacts are actually pretty good. Pyro Catalyst for Muriel is amazing, especially when you get the legendary gear for her that casts the ultimate right at the start of the battle. Let's showcase that today. The first round is very important. We're really looking for a triple card of Light Bearers, which we do on one reset, which is great. We're going to pick that up. Hopefully we get some good cards. We got a tank, we got Vala, and we got Mary Lee. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of Shakir here by selling him and getting two coins back. I'm going to reset the store once just to see what I have in the next round. Nothing really here to get or to lock in. But really the first two rounds determine how you play the rest of the matches. You can lose up to two times before you really get into stress mode. I'm just going to save my coins here and start the match. I got a five faction light bearer team. Now, sometimes you're going to get a bad start. You might not have a frontline tank or anything like that. Try to know your faction and what you want your team comp to be right off the bat. There goes Vala with the nuke. Perfect. And it looks like we're going to start off this round of matches with a win. And that's going to be a good start. Nothing here in the store right off the bat. So I'm going to reset and just hope to get either A, a triple light bearer card, or B, something you can lock in. But again, let's reset one more time. We'll hopefully get some luck, but this is what I'm talking about with RNG wise. You might not get something that you really need. And I am wasting coins here trying to find something. Here's a Rowan here. I'm going to lock her in and reset one more time. And because I'm up matches, haven't lost yet, I'm going to stop wasting coins. I'm going to pick up a Lucius and a Rowan. And I'm just going to start the match. Even if I lose this match, I'm okay with that. Honestly, if you lose twice, it's not bad. You get extra coins. All right, let's see what we can get going here. This is a very strong Wilder team. Probably not going to get anywhere here. My Muriel is dead, so that pretty much counters my whole artifact. So that's a loss, but like I said, it's okay. Got 40 coins, and now I have a triple light bearer card. I'm going to click that and hope for the RNG. I got a Muriel, got a Mary Lee. But I also got a Tamesia, which is okay. I needed a second front line. Now don't start selling cards until you have five legendary heroes. Because you never know with the RNG gotcha of the store whether you're going to get more dupes of another hero or not. I always say have a sixth hero just in case. You also need to know when you need to reset the store or not. If you have more than 18 coins, you want to reset at least once just to see what the store will give you so you can lock something in that you may need. I'm going to get the Temesia here and just start the match. All right, let's see if I can get through this match without dying. The other team has Illusion Sensor, which has a magic fog that covers the whole battlefield. They really need more healing. And it looks like they're going like a Mauler team. And Smokey with the magic fog with a lot of frontline melee is not good. So I definitely won this one pretty easy. You're going to get an upgrade to your artifact and make sure to know your artifact inside and out. Know what it does, how it affects your faction and team, and even your equipment. The upgrade to the artifact can determine whether you push for epic equipment or legendary. Let's keep refreshing the store. There is a Vala here. I'm going to lock it in. I don't want to take it yet because I'm looking for that triple light bearer card, which is right there. 
and you see there's another Vala too. Even though two of them would give Vala an upgrade, you still want to go with the triple card. Now I have a Vala and I have a Mary Lee, so that's going to be a Mary Lee upgrade and also a Vala upgrade. Let's reset the store again one more time. As you see, a Mario pops up, so I'm locking that in. And also a triple light bearer card, which is huge. So definitely lost that match, and that's okay. I got one life left. This gives me 67 coins and keeps me at the two win lower tier. So this will make me stronger. So as you see here, I have Mario, I have Rowan. I have 73 coins, so I'm still going to go with this triple light bearer card. I also got a Lucius upgrade. And now I take Mariel, which will take the Legendary, and now Rowan as well. So I have a full Legendary 5-man team. When you're down to one life, you really want to start checking your artifacts. There's nothing left in this store that I need, so I'm going to reset one time. And as you see, there's a Temesia upgrade, a Rowan card, and a Light Bearer card. I'm going to lock all three in. This is the last life, so hopefully I'll be okay. We're dealing with three epics and two legendaries, so technically my team is stronger, but just in case, I'm gonna pray to the RNG gods. Lucius with the big shield, perfect. Vala is there, but Vala is targeting Igor, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Mary Lee's doing work. Mario with the ultimate big damage. I mean, that killed the whole entire team pretty much, except for Igor and the tank. But there we have it. This is GG. I'm still alive. All right, let's go with this triple card first. Perfect. All three cards I need. The only time you want to stop getting triple cards is when you finally get a mythic. I'm going to get the Temesia here. I'm going to reset the store and hopefully get some good equipment here. Although there is a Mariel, which I'm going to lock in. I'm going to do one more reset because I'll be at 40 coins. Maybe that legendary artifact will show up What that I want. And technically, no, that's not what I want. However, I'm still going to get it and put it on Vala. This will increase her damage in her ultimate, giving energy back when she kills an enemy. I'm not getting the good RNG for this Pyro Catalyst artifact. This is why I talk about keeping a sixth hero for map changes like this. We're probably going to want to put Lucius up here, Rowan right in the middle, and I'm going to put Temesia in the back so that I can place one of my damage dealers in front just in case there's a Vala or a Silvana. I'm going to place Vala here to take care of the Mary Lee because as you see, that is the main focus because of the enemy's artifact. Always look at the enemy's artifact. Lucius needs to stay alive. There goes the Rowan, there goes the Vala, and it's uh, a GG already. And the reason that happened is because he has the legendary artifact that increases Mary Lee's damage, but if she dies, the match automatically ends. All right, let's pick up this card, reset the store, and we have a double Vala, which makes her mythic, which is huge. There is a triple light bearer card, however, I have a mythic and I don't want to get Vala cards from it, it's just a waste of coins. This stalwart helmet is huge for frontline tanks. I'm going to get that for Lucius. All right, we have a Vala focusing my Rowan. But what I'm going to do is focus that Vala with my Vala. They do have increased haste if they defeat an enemy. I try to spread out because of Cassidy here in her ultimate. So it doesn't hit as many people as possible. So there's Vala. They're going to get haste from that. But I killed Vala, which is perfect. And I get increased energy. And Vala is just about to go off nonstop on these enemies. See, look at that ultimate with that equipment. It's huge. With the energy increase, the ultimate and increased damage, it's just one shot after one shot after one shot. And then there's Mario. That's why it's important to go into stress mode with one life left. Typically, if you're ahead of the game, in wins versus losses, you want to go straight for mythic heroes. And again, you don't want to lock in too many things because then when you reset the store, you're only resetting a couple cards. If you have two or more cards locked in, at least buy one and then reset the store. There's another Muriel. Bam! I'm going to unlock these cards just for more chances at the store reset. Also, this late with one life left, I'm going to start selling cards when I need to. And honestly, I'm probably going to just sell Mary Lee here too, because I do need a double front line. You just really need to know when to reset and when to stop. 
Keep on resetting at this point because you're getting 90 coins a win. I'm already down to 40 coins and it just sucks. I haven't got anything. But this RNG of this store is really hurting me. There it is. Let's go. All right. They put down Vala, Mary Lee, and Corrin right off the bat. And as you see, they have the Mary Lee artifact. So I'm going to focus Mary Lee. My Muriel is going to be targeted, but I am mythic. So I'm going to be pretty tanky. So let's hope for the best here. I got all my heroes next to Rowan boosting their energy. This might be tough, but we'll see what happens. There we go. Come on, I need Vala to go off. There's one dead. And now she's going to see even their Vala could not kill my Muriel on her ultimate. So it's pretty much going to be GG from here. Vala will take care of everybody. Muriel will one shot anybody. GG. There is a double Temesia card. I'm going to take that and reset. No good artifacts that I really need right now, but we do have a double Lucius, which is huge. That's another mythic. Still ain't getting the legendary artifact that I want. Sometimes you can get really lucky and get mythic Muriel, get that legendary artifact like in five wins, and it's crazy. But again, RNG. All right, I'm putting Lucius by himself. He's going to be super hard to kill. And it is a full Wilder team, I am sure. If Crystal Cell, the frontmost ally, is going to be super tanky, but that's okay because I have Vala and Muriel. Mythic Laika there, so I'm actually going to focus her. Put Muriel behind Lucius. All right, so they got an instant Haywind heal up there, but that's all right. I need Vala to nuke that back line quickly. Go, baby. One shot, 63k dead. One shot again, Vala. And this isn't even a good artifact for Vala either. This is just Mythic Vala and that artifact that makes her do more damage and increases energy. Now we're going into end game here. We need what we need. And we're going to reset the store until we get it. Although, get a double Temesia and get her new skill from Mythic. But we need that instant damage. My team's all about the damage. Although, and sometimes the store says F you and just makes you do something different that you really want to do. I came into this match with one game plan. And it's changed 17 times. And that's what's great about Honor Duel. You have to adjust for the situation at hand. And really, you just have to understand that you can never win 100% of the time. Bad RNG, counter factions with advantages and disadvantages to damage, artifacts that would just completely counter your team comp. There's multiple different situations. But this is a very strong mythic team on the other side, and they are using the artifact of Fragrant Bag, which when they get a kill, everybody gets haste. However, my team is staying strong, and I'm hoping I can kill them before they kill me. Lucius needs to throw up some more shields here, and there's Muriel's ultimate, which was huge. It's 5 versus 4 right now. Vala taking out another. It looks like GG for me, 5 versus 2 right now. Damage report, Muriel still pumping out more damage than Vala. Hundreds of coins later, I finally get it, Fire Dance. Buying that, putting it on Muriel, and now it's pretty much GG. And let's get that 10th win. Muriel's artifact gives her a 5 tile wide ultimate. After she defeats an enemy, she gains 150 energy. But with her legendary artifact making it instant and do more damage, you can do something like this. Bam! Two people dead. She gets energy back. Bam! Two more people dead. It's GG. Freaking awesome. When you get her to that point, hopefully for you, it's going to be way earlier than it was for me. But that's all you need. 10 more wins, 40 more points in the ranking. 69 giggity. Where's all my rank 1 fools at? That's it for today's video. Hopefully you can take these tips and me showing you how I do a whole match in your thought process going forward to help you win these honor duels. If you end up liking this video, sub, like, ding, ding, a bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.